Hi y'all, welcome or welcome back to Feel and Froggy Knits. My name is Maya and today we are on a road trip. I know what you're thinking. Maya, weren't you just on a trip? Yes, I was. I was just in Lexington, Kentucky, but as Drew just reminded me we are still unemployed which means we have a lot of free time and family that wants to see us so we are headed to today we're headed to Nevada we'll be staying in Texas and then we'll round off the trip in beautiful San Diego so I decided I wanted to just vlog the experience you know if I go to yarn shops bring you all along with me what, am I not supposed to talk with my hands? Anyway, so come along with us as we go through the southwest of the United States. Hopefully, go to some cute little yarn stores, see the sights, visit family. Just have a, have a good, wholesome time. And you're coming. Oh, I thought I would let you all know while we are, are on this first leg of the trip I'm going to be working on my fourth Oslo hat I have not finished my third one yet but Drew's mom really deserves a hand knitted hat so I'm going to try to get it done within the time frame that we are visiting her so working on it all day today we got 10 hours of driving today and then while we are in Nevada as well so I better get started on that Bye.
been a couple of days since I've checked in with y'all, but I thought I would pop in here to say I had so much fun in Nevada. We got to visit my boyfriend's mom and her husband there, and then we drove to Sedona. We got in kind of late at night, so we weren't really able to see anything, but then the next morning we got up and went on a little bit of a hike. We got to see the most insane views. It was just beautiful. Then after we did that, we went to a little yarn store and I got this gorgeous DK Weight Superwash yarn that is locally dyed there in Sedona and actually the colorway is called Sedona Sunset. I don't have it with me. That was awesome. Then we made the drive from Sedona to El Paso where I am currently. This is kind of the halfway point of our trip. We are gonna spend some more time in San Diego than we uh, have spent in Nevada and El Paso. I just thought I would update y'all because I haven't spoken to the camera in days. I've just been filming little clips of where we are. I love the western U.S. Even when it's boring, to me it is just not boring. I love the arid, dry landscape. I think it is just so full of life and yeah, it's gorgeous. So you all got to see me knitting on it just now, but you haven't seen the whole thing, which I don't even know if I'll be able to fit it in the shot. Here we go. So we, wow, it looks so nice. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I've talked about this. I've talked about the nine note bundle, which Drew's sister Michelle got me for Christmas. And it is this beautiful gradient. The color is mulberry and it goes from this dark purple to this. Now I have the lightest purple on there. It is, it is quite a contrast from the lightest shade to the next lightest shade, but I love the colors. Yeah, just everything about this scarf, honestly, it's it's really long. It's about to be, I mean, just, it's one of those, remember when like blanket scarves were in? It's gonna be like that. It's like, oh yeah, just, I can't wrap it twice, I guess, which is kind of a bummer, but here, let's try it this way. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh wow. And then I can do a little, little hood of sorts. Man, if I don't look stupid, I don't know who does, because, yeah, like the scarf better. Oh, that is so cute. Well, I'm going to continue to knit on this, and oh, I'm going to go eat my leftover Mexican food. I had the best Mexican food I've ever had in my entire life yesterday. So congratulations to me. Things are really looking up for, for old Maya. Good Mexican food. Scarves almost done. Do great. Nail fell off. Can't win them all.